Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Learning Bits. In the previous video, we have learned PRG's theory of cognitive development. Now in this video, we shall learn important points of Kohlberg's theory of moral development. Those who are watching my video and those who are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel Learning Bits. Kohlberg's theory of moral development. Lawrence Kohlberg a psychologist belongs to the University of Harvard. He is the first to define moral development as the development of an individual's sense of justice or moral judgment. He conducted studies on hundreds of children from different cultures. Kohlberg identified that there are three levels of moral development and each level contains two stages. Level 1. Premolar age. Level 1. Premoral age 4 to 10 years. Here the child begins to make judgment about what is right or wrong, good or bad. He gets convinced by others to take judgment either to avoid punishment or to earn rewards. This level has two stages. Stage 1. The stage of obedience for avoiding punishment. In the beginning, the child morality is controlled by the fear of punishment. He tries to obey his parents and elders to avoid punishment. Stage 2. The stage of conforming to obtain rewards and favors in reaction. This stage is also known as individual instru instrumentation and exchange stage. In this stage, moral judgment is based on self-interest and consideration of what others can do in return. Here, the value a thing because it has some practical utility for them. The child will follow rules if there is known benefit to him or her. Child in this in this stage follow an eye for an eye manner. It means one child hits another. The injured child will hit back. This this is considered as equitable justice. Children will make deals with each other and even adults. They will agree to behave in certain way for a pay of it. It means I will do this if you do that. Con level 2. Conventional morality that is age 10 to 13 years. At this stage, children, moral judgment is controlled by the likes and dislikes of others. The conventions, rules and regulations and the law and order system maintained within society. Children in this level are concerned about being accepted by others and living up to their expectations. It is characterized by following stages. Stage 3. The stage of maintaining mutual relations and approval of others. In the early years of the second level of moral development, the child's moral judgment is based on the desire to obtain approval of others and avoid being declared a good boy or a good girl. For this purpose, he begins to judge the intention and likes and dislikes of others to act accordingly. This stage is called as a good boy or a good girl stage. Here the children do the right thing because it is good for the family, peer group, team, school or church. They understand the concept of trust, loyalty and gratitude. Morality is acting in, a, in accordance to what the social group says it is right or moral. Stage 4 the stage of obedience for avoiding censor by higher authority or social system. Censor means disapproval. In the later years of conventional morality, conventional morality means a stage of moral development where a person follows social norms and conventions because they care about what they think about them, what others think about them. In the later years of conventional morality level, children's moral judgment are governed by convention as well as the law and moral morals of social system. This stage is the law and order or social system and consent stage. Children and adults at this stage abide by the rules of the society in which they live. These laws and rules become the backbone for the all right and wrong actions. Children and adults feel compelled to do their duty and show respect for authority. Level 3 
Self accepted moral principles age 13 or not until middle or later adulthood. This marks the highest level of attainment of true morality as the centering force for making judgments now rest with the individual himself. Some teenagers and adults do more beyond conventional morality and enter morality based on reason. Examining relatives, relative values and opinions of the groups with which they interact. This level is characterized by two separate stages. Stage 5. Stage of the conforming to the democratically accepted law and modes of community welfare. At this stage, the individual's moral judgment are internalized in such a form what he responds positively to authority only if he agrees with the principles upon which the demands of authority are based. Individuals enters into a contract with fellow human beings to treat them fairly and kindly and to respect authority when it is equally moral and deserved. They also agree to obey laws and social rules of conduct that promote respect for individuals and value the few universal moral values that they recognize. Stage 6 Stage of conforming to the universal ethical principles and the call of one's consents. Consents means moral sense. At this stage, the controlling forces for making moral judgments are highly internalized. The decision of the individual are now based upon his conscience and the belief in the universal principles of respect, justice and equality. Here internalized means to accept an idea, attitude, belief, it becomes part of our character. At this stage, people act according to the inner voice of their conscience and lead a life that they can without self-condemnation or feeling of guilt or shame. Here condemnation means to declare wrong without any evidence. It means disapproval. Thanks for watching. Here we have completed Kohlberg's